Hello and welcome to another pipe presentation video. Quite special pipe this time, uh, a standal, very rare standal. Uh, let's just look at the sleeve first. Um, black with sort of golden stitching. Great condition. Um, Uh, this was one of those wow moments when you see the pipe for the first time. Um, let's go over stamping first. I'm going to detach the stem. Let's just uh, show that it's filtered for 9 millimeters. Uh, pipe has Stanville made in Denmark face BR34 stamped uh, in the back. That's all stamping found on pipe. Uh, super rare, I haven't seen one like this ever uh, and I did some research, also haven't seen a single one for sale. Uh, pipe was just tried once, I think it was even just half of a bowl, basically 98% new condition or as new. Um, half bent pot, smooth finish in orange stain. Look at this curve from side, fantastic. Very thick briar walls, octagonal bowl, uh, quite unique design on bowl and amazing flame grain on pipe. Um, if you ask me, uh, this, even I'm 100% sure this is a fantastic smoker. Uh, it's more of a collectible than it is just meant to be smoked. Uh, for sure, uh, I think it's a great one, but I think even that the previous owner felt, you know, sorry to smoke it. There are sometimes pipes which look way too nice and um, it's always a question where you draw the line uh, between just collecting and admiring a design and pipe and actually uh, smoking them with care and enjoying them. Uh, I did have the dilemma uh, myself uh, more than once but with my pipes I usually choose to smoke them with care and just you know there's, there's always an option to restore them again refresh them and they will look as good as new uh, but uh, that requires um, regular cleaning and just maintaining the pipe, smoking it without rush and just enjoying it. Uh, that's what's really great with quality vintage pipes such as this one. Um, you can actually enjoy them and after restoration they will still have their growing value uh, on them. Uh, you can see that I'm circling the pipe uh, the whole time. Fantastic example of a vintage Stanville, uh, truly amazing pipe in person and for sure. I think last time I said that it's it was one of the most beautiful Stanvilles we had. It was a ukulele shaped uh, in black sandblasted finish. Uh, this one might be even better than that one. It just looks amazing and I love rare pipes. Uh, so much more than even the most beautiful models which come in uh, larger production series. So this one is really something special. Um, that will be all for this short presentation. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.